So having this water, um, you know, I can now turn to animal populations uh, and, and think about that and what relationship is there between the water and, and animals. But we can also examine the archaeological record. We'll do both of those now. And uh, when we've been looking at some fossiliferous sites, and I'll show you examples of that, but that got me sort of thinking about you know, the long-term history of, uh, of Arabia and what can we do to start to think about um, how sort of life sort of developed and evolved uh, in, in places like Saudi Arabia. And one of the first things when you think about fossils is you think about fossil fuels. I mean, places like Arabia are uh, very rich um, in fossil fuels, and that's because um, Arabia was in a very key position uh, literally hundreds of millions of years ago. And oil that we see today, those fossil fuels, is a product of uh, the breakdown of marine fossils and those uh, marine organisms rather die in those uh, sea floors they eventually get buried and under very sort of um, high pressure and heat it eventually forms into uh, oil so if you think about the the amount of oil and natural gas in the region it's all a product of uh, the fossilization process. And so we can see when we look at things like oil and oil reservoirs that um, fossils were forming in the Arabian Peninsula anywhere from 550 million years ago all the way up to 50 million years ago. And so that's sort of <coughs> thinking about life in Arabia um, very early on but literally in the last couple of years, paleontologists have been showing um, that there's also a very rich fossil record <coughs> of the last 75 million years. So literally about two years ago, the first dinosaurs were discovered in Saudi Arabia. So there's a new report about them 75 million years ago. This is the first report for dinosaurs, but also Importantly, fossils were found um, about 29 million years ago, uh, some new primates, which is the sort of the link between old world monkeys um, and, uh, and apes. So Arabia is playing a role in this. And Arabia is also playing a role in questions of dispersals of primates themselves. And so there are even scenarios about the movement of monkeys out of Africa at around 8 million years ago. So the things that we think about as archaeologists, in a sense, are not new. They actually relate to what we see in the last uh, 30 million years. So these dispersals have been happening for a very long period of time. And so this is all brand new information that's emerging out of uh, places like Saudi Arabia. And so that leads me to um, a search for fossils in our own project, much more recently. Uh, and we have uh, worked on a site called Tisalgada. Um, and I'm very sort of happy about this, because not only do we have a lake, but we have a very rich fossil site. This fossil site extends one kilometer. And it's quite an amazing um, site. And uh, sites like this have never been investigated or excavated uh, before in, in Saudi Arabia. And I'm very pleased also <laughs> that this project has started with uh, a very close relationship between two different ministries, the Saudi Commission for Tourism and Antiquities and the Saudi Geological Survey. So we are working in partnership the very first time in, in order to work and excavate on uh, this fossiliferous site. So again, this, these are some photos of um, just a few days ago, working side by side with the SGS and the SCTA and our project. And I'll 
show you some of the highlights from that. 